Hello everyone and welcome to our Maya 2015 ELF project tutorial series. Uh, we're, we're in number 12 by now. I lost count, but uh, we're going to keep on plugging along here. We got our lips create last lesson and uh, start fleshing out some of the other parts of the face. Um, in this lesson we are going to actually work on connecting everything and filling in the rest of uh, the face region and the cheek area. Okay, so what I'm going to start out doing is actually defining out the jawline. So to do that, um, I actually want to have another edge loop in here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and add one in right here. Definitely don't need to be working with soft select right now. So let's turn that off. Okay. Um, I'm going to take this new edge I just created here. I'm going to use that as my jawline to begin with. Um, so I'll do my four panel view. Um, I need to bring this whole thing down a little bit. Uh, this whole like the way they have this jawline here is just it's not very realistic. Um, if I was to follow this jawline, this uh, this elf would have a very very narrow jaw, so um, I'm going to not follow this particular jawline, but I'm going to go to the, the width on it. So the point I'm not after, um, it seems like they mess this whole little area up a little bit, but this part here I am going to extrude it out to that area. So I'm going to hit my extrude tool, and I'm going to extrude out to about right in here. Um, I'm going to have to move this whole reference image down a little bit because remember this, these two different reference images don't line up perfectly. And back to vertex mode, and I'm after in this area right in here. I'm take this extra vertex here, and push it back. Okay. And right now, it looks like this went straight out. It didn't really help us all that direction. But now we'll go over to this side view, and <clears throat> we'll push it out to about here. Good. Now, let's go ahead and add in an edge loop near the back so that if you saw that move, it's because I have that insert with edge flow on, so it's trying to follow some curvature that I'm using. Um, I think really stressed out at the moment. Let's go ahead and turn on our extreme. We're going to go up to the base of where the ear is going to start. Right about in here. Yes, we are going to model the health here. I'll take a little bit of time and it's a little bit of an ordeal, but it's a necessity to make the head look correct. And I mean, if you're, we're this far down the rabbit hole of modeling, you got to have the ears as well. So. All right, so that's that's okay. Um, let's uh, go back to our full view here. I want to take a moment and just pause so we can count up our edges here. Um, this one here, the, these two just got snapped together, so I'll just redraw these really quick. Um, the edge vertex. Use my balling toolkit and my multi-cut tool, and I can just use this one to redraw in these edges. Okay. Even though I'm just going to read mirror this after I'm done, I'll just go ahead and run through the steps and do this one as well. Just clicking, clicking the target and hitting mirror to complete that edge. Okay. Alright, let's uh point of this whole part here was that I wanted to count up and see how many edges I had. So 
I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm just clicking these just as a placeholder because they rotate around. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 edges. Okay, so times 2 means I have 26 edges going all the way around, which is a de decent amount of edges. That's okay, I just need to make sure that as I'm modeling my head here, that I have enough geometry laying down into the neck that I can connect this up. I don't have to get too creative with <clears throat> changing the geometry of the head to feed into the neck. Okay, so 26, that's the magic number we're going to be looking for. Alright, so let's keep moving forward here. Um, I want to add in a couple extra edge loops on here. Go one, two, let's say three. Okay. And we'll do the same thing over here. We'll do one, two. Now, I may not be right. I might have to delete off an edge vertex, but that's okay. I'm just trying to set myself up to where these are all evenly distributed. And I'm going to try to target those. Okay, so let's start um, fixing the bridge of the between here. So um, let's go pin to polygon, and I think I'm going to select this one. I'm going to have it a pin down here. Okay, that's good. And these ones I'm going to get a little bit more creative with. So I'm actually going to. Uh, have this come out a little bit further, so I can see where I'm going with it. So I'm extrude these two faces down. You can already see it like this part here, judging from that angle that that's concave in, which isn't what the cheekbone should look like, so I'm going to pull these out. Up a little bit, and I'll be going back and forth on this stuff as I'm going along. So I'm not going to get all anal about whether these couple faces here are going to be perfect or not. Um, when it comes to shaping, I will be doing the same thing over and over again. Okay, so let's maybe take this uh, face loop out one more. Okay. I'm going to use my target weld tool. So I'm going to be staying inside my my uh, modeling toolkit quite a bit here just to make sure that as I'm creating that I can just go through and start stitching this stuff together. Okay, so now I'm back to let's keep working in this area here. This is uh, where you have to be able to get kind of creative. I need another edge loop. I already know that part for here. Um, I'm going to need some more geometry to start connecting this in. Um, this vertex here, I need to move up a little bit, I believe. Kind of. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a, a quad in here. So I'm just go ahead and do that now. Okay. And I need some more geometry for this one to connect in, so I'm going to drop in an extra edge loop here. Again, I have insert with edge flow on. If you don't know what that is, multi tool or go to your uh, your insert edge loop tool, and then this bottom box here says insert with edge flow. Just make sure that's active. And what that will do is it'll make it to where Maya will look at the curvature of things around it and uh, drop in this edge loop with uh, following that curvature. So instead of having this be flat still, it added a little bit of roundness to my eyes, which is great. Uh, makes it where I don't have to do it myself, or at least. Uh, if I do, I can just tweak it a little bit rather than to flatten it. Okay, I'll go back loop. And let's go ahead and append in this one here. Okay. Now I can, let's see here. Um, 
can have these two weld together, and then I can create a quad between these, I think. Let's go ahead and try that route. We'll target weld this one to this one, so that continues the loop going around. And then I can create a quad, I think, between these. I think that might look okay. Let's do that, or I will have to target weld this piece to this piece. Let's go that route first, see how that looks. Uh, it doesn't give me enough geometry. Um, it looks stretched. Let's go ahead and drop one extra edge loop right there. Let's take this vertex and let's, uh, let's bring the cheek up just a little bit. Alright. This one here needs to come out quite a bit. Okay, so I can create a quad going this way, or I can create this loop goes all the way around. I think that I want to create a quad going this way. Let's see how that looks. This is coming off the nose, so it's that narrow piece there, and I probably want to open it up just a little bit. I don't want it to be so tight right there. Okay, and now it's at the point now where I'm deciding if I want to continue this edge flow going around or if I want to continue going down. And I want to continue going around. I'm kind of done uh, with the, the loops going around the, the lips area, so going to append a polygon going this way. <clears throat> now, I'm not perfect at this, obviously, um, but all this talk about edge flow and whatnot, um, if that sounds confusing to you, um, what I'm essentially doing, and the reason why it's important, is that when you have a facial rig, um, the way that the face um, moves um, is in circles. So um, that's why if when you stretch, when you have this uh, smile happen on the corner of the lips go up, you want all these loops to be able to be pushing back, and you want the face geometry to be able to stretch back that way. If the, um, the geometry isn't running in loops that way, when you go to smile or blink, um, the geometry will look really strange, and uh, it's kind of subtle. But once you see why it's doing that, um, you kind of understand what how the the face geometry can be changed to where it looks more realistic. And this is kind of like you know what everyone usually does in the industry to make it look more realistic. Okay. I'm just struggling because I don't really like this one face right here. It's so big, it just looks odd to me. Um, I want to just let it go for right now. It's going to start eating at my time. Um, yeah, I'm going to come back and fix that um, after I have the rest of the face kind of modeled in. Um, for right now, it's kind of pulling the cheekbones, and it's got some strong looking cheekbones, it seems like. But let's keep going forward. Um, let's extrude these down a little bit. Okay. Use my target well tool and move that one to that one. Okay, that's good. And now I can extrude this one pretty much straight back to these guys. So I can just actually run a bridge on these. Just gonna bridge and I have to switch over to this part here. If I would have done my bridge on my toolbox it would give me a little slider. I didn't. I uh, did my shell which is just the same but I have to go to my channel box to add in those divisions. Okay so now I want to 
uh, weld these together. So I'm going to go to my modeling toolkit again. Turn on target weld. Now, if you see these green faces on here, don't panic. Um, that's all that is. is new geometry has been created that isn't yet assigned to a shader. Um, as soon as I weld these together, it should figure that out and be able to reassign them to the correct shader. Um, if it doesn't figure it out, simple enough, which it seems like it didn't, um, but all you have to do is just go to faces, pull down right mouse button, assign materials to existing material, and just go to micro one. There we go. Nothing to really sweat about. Honestly, I would have left that for a while until Maya figured it out and fixed it itself, but I um, figured I'd just point out one here. Okay, so let's go ahead and target weld these sheets together. Let's Uh, I should probably turn my reference image on the background. That is. There we go. Back to my model toolkit. Do target weld. Turn off this guy up to here. That's my dog in the background. I'm going up above the ear line a little bit. That's okay. Let me do that. And then I will append a polygon right here. Okay. It's not a lot of geometry in this cheek area, and I realize that. And I'm going to have to add in some geometry as well. Um, Let's see how we're doing on edges. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, not enough yet. And really, a lot of these guys are going to run underneath the chin, so we do need a lot more geometry. But let's go ahead and start building underneath the chin. That's uh, an important step. Um, I'm going to take this edge here. I'm going to go to my side view. And I'm going to extrude down to where the neckline is. So I got this one will loop right from this one. So I got one, two, three, and then probably after three I will be at the back. So um, run my extrude tool. That's two. Hit G. This is three. Okay. And from here I can weld that into the body, but I'm not welding it into the body right now. Don't misinterpret what I'm saying here. Okay, let's go ahead and jump back into our perspective. We can weld now underneath the chin in here. Um, I could bridge this, but I'm just going to append the polygons on all of them. Okay. Okay, so I do need some more geometry also coming off the lips here. That will help with the, um, the geometry needs to connect into the neck. So I'm going to move these edges here. Closer to center here. I will just take all of them. Okay. okay. And now I can add in. I do want actually another loop in here, anyways, so that I can hold the lip structure a little better. So um, I'm going to add in a loop 
right around here. And with that, I'm going to actually go to my edge mode. I'm going to try to define this a little, a little bit better. Not too much, just a little bit. Round this off so this is blocky. It's a little boxy here in the corners, so I'm just going to shake that a little bit as well. And it's mainly just because I have those edges very close together, so. Gotta be careful with the lips. You can end up with fish lips very easily and just looks weird. When you end up with fish lips, you, uh, it's hard to put your finger on what's out of place. It looks right from most angles in this movie, but it doesn't look right. Pushing and pulling, pushing and pulling. Right, so let's, uh, let's see if that helped. A little better. Hard to kind of really get it down when I'm only doing the cap for right now. But, anyways, getting away from my premise, I want more geometry coming down here. So I'm actually going to drop in another loop. <clears throat> okay, so now I've got three, four, five. So I'm at 10, and then I need to make sure that there's another 13 going around the back side. And I think I can handle that, so I think I'm going to pick here. I'll leave this area here alone for a little bit. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and start finishing up this area. So I need to basically extrude out. Uh, maybe three times, might be less. Um, so we'll extrude this. One more back. And I actually do want this to loop back around, so um, I'll probably weld this one to this one, this one, this one. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into my target weld tool and kind of get some of this going. Alright, that one to that one, so now this one's looping back up into it. Um, same thing with this one. See here. Actually, we got rid of this face. It's kind of stretching at this point. Let's just see what happens. Let's go to target weld and let's take this one up to here. Some really low cheekbone how to fix that. Mm. Ah, I'm gonna actually go get that wrap. We're gonna have a run over here. Pending 
and all this. And those targets will have fast pace. Alright, so that's all welded together. We're at 25 minutes. Um, let's go ahead and take a moment to um, mirror this and do a little bit of smoothing and sculpting. Um, in the next lesson, we'll go ahead and uh, attach it to the back part of the head as well. Let's go ahead and mirror for right now and see what we got going on there. Option mode. There we go. Hit apply. Just go to our. Go to point zero one. Okay. And now yeah, face does look a little funky, cheekbones and all that. Um, let me smooth this out and fix a lot of this. <clears throat> Let's take this eye and kind of bring it up so you can actually start adjusting. Yeah, you can see how it's not a very good fit. We'll fix that. Okay, so let's uh, let's go and turn on our sculpt geometry tool. Let's do that some of this. Do that. Let's see if I can get the. Sometimes the. Um, the mirroring setting works and sometimes it doesn't. So. Reflection. Soften up those stiff cheeks that we had going on. Okay. Let's go to base mode. Now let's turn on object. Uh, okay. Yep. Yeah, see? This is what I was talking about. Sometimes with the mirroring it doesn't want to work with the uh, Near topology. It's okay. I can uh, do it manually. Now I'm going to go through and line up the face a little bit. Okay. Take these jaw lines and push them down a little bit. I'm going to have to push this back in. Oh, it's too much of a thickness. Let's uh, knock that soft select down to 0.5. Yeah, that's a little bit better. <clears throat> Push this in just a little bit. And pull these ones down a little bit. Eyeball is actually set in there. Okay, that's looking a little bit better. Uh, we still got a ways to go, so I'm not going to get too much into refining this actual base here, but I want to make sure that I fit in there and I want it to be a little bit more believable as far as how the face and that anatomy look. Um, see what we look like a bit smooth. 
a little more realistic. Okay. I've duplicated this eye so there's one on the other side too. Okay. Um, the eyelid is obviously needs to come in as well, but those are all details I'll push and pull around a little bit later on. I'm not going to deal with that at the moment. Um, we're already about half an hour in. I did notice though that if I move this, you can see it off in the distance that the, the nostril is a little too far out. Uh, you can't really tell until you smooth it. But it's just giving me a precursor that this needs to be moved in a little bit. So I'm just going to take this edge right here and this edge over here. And I need soft sludge not to be on. Okay. And those two there. there we go. Okay. All right. So this is a good stopping point for us. Um, I'm going to in the next lesson. Uh, Finish building the back of the head. Um, we'll refine the the head geometry a little bit more, and we'll start working on the ears. Um, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Oh, um, before I let you guys go, um, it's been a little while since I've reminded you to save. So let's go ahead and save. Go to file, save scene, continue. Soft edges. There we go. All right. Sign off.